All right, here's how to do one of the really simple difference of squares. Uh, let's look at uh, number 28 from the homework, um, x squared minus 25. Okay, so um, basically we want to check to see if the first term is a perfect square and the back term is a perfect square. Um, also, we need to make sure there is a different sign there. Okay, so if they have a different sign, it's very possible it could be a difference of squares. So if your power is even for the variable, then, it is a then it's a perfect square. And of course, 25 is a perfect square. Usually checked by calculators, put square root of 25, get a whole number, you're good, which is 5. So here it is a difference of squares. Both terms are perfect squares and a uh, minus sign between them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I like to make this little template and basically, if you take the square root of x squared, you get x. I'm going to put x in front of the signs because that's where x squared was. And then for 25, the square root of 25 is 5. I'm going to put those behind the signs because that's where the 25 was as well. And we get the factored version of x plus 5 times x minus 5.